All right, Mr. Spicer, this is Coach Santiago. We're looking at your swing here from last weekend, or from last week, excuse me. Um, so let's take a look at a few things. A, our setup. Good setup here, good balance position. Now we start moving forward, we're going forward to backward. I like the fact that our hands are going back while our, our front hip's going forward, okay? Now, we start to make contact. One of the things that we always talk about good hitters all have in common is a still head. Most guys don't move forward uh, and hit at a high level. So notice that our head's moving really aggressively forward, okay? So if we could try to keep that, try to think about your chin and your belly button kind of being as one, all right? Now, I like the fact that we are keeping separated pretty good here, all right? I'd also like to see this heel and this knee start to work in just a little bit earlier. So now we're at landing, we're starting to transfer that weight. I would love to see our back foot already in, in, in a turn slot, this knee already starting to fall forward, just to create a little bit more bat lag with her hands. Now as we come through, front back heel comes up, good head position, good extension through. Let's take a look what you're doing with your hands here, okay, good extension there. Good long high follow through. So um, my, my biggest suggestion is twofold. You're a big strong kid, but I think you could actually be hitting the baseball harder with less effort right now if we created more separation at that position. You know, I think, you can, I think you're a, a good enough athlete to have our hands. And just if you look at where I just drew on the screen, although it looks like it's probably six inches, you're like, what's the big deal? Six inches may be another four to five miles an hour of bat speed. Okay, that's how important that is. Uh, there's actually a mathematical uh, equation in the separation between our hands and our front hip at landing at that power position uh, that will actually tell us the type of bat speed that you'll have, either below average, average, or above average. But uh, overall, not a bad job coming through the swing here, okay? Um, Looks like you kind of topped that one a little bit, but not a bad job. <clears throat> um, overall, I'd like to see you get a little bit more extension through contact, but good. I love the follow through. I love the post swing mechanics or, or post contact mechanics that you have. But I do think those two things, as far as head movement and separation, could definitely help your swing as you're moving forward. Coach Santiago here signing off. Work with Mr. Spicer.